Hello everyone! Surprise! So today, naisip kong gumawa ng video kasi recently, ang dami nagbi-message sa akin na friends and actually even acquaintances asking me how to move here sa New Zealand. And hindi naman ako legally allowed na magbigay ng advice. Sabi ko na lang na I will just share my experiences from the day that I lodged my visa application until I became a citizen. I'll try to make this video as short as possible. And sorry pala sa aking headless mannequin na background. Because <laughs> I'm in my um, office dito sa bahay. So, dito ako nag-film at the moment. Dahil si Nika sa kabilang room, sa bedroom namin, ay naglalaro ng NBA. So, mga hindi po nakakaalam, I've been here in New Zealand since 2012. And I remember that was June when I applied for my visitor's visa and I lodged my application for visitor's visa with sponsorship from Nika kasi she's been here since early 2000s. nag apply ako noon, I remember I think it was about Monday, Tuesday na nagpunta ako sa VFS Makati which is the visa processing office. I can't remember what it stands for but VFS Makati office. So, doon sinasubmit yung visa application mo for New Zealand. I submitted that on the day and then 24 hours later, I received an email na someone will call me about this hour. So, I waited for the phone call. And then doon sa phone call na yun, tinanong niya ako kung ano yung reason ko kung bakit gusto ko mag-move sa New Zealand. Siyempre, ang sagot ko doon sa phone interview nagmatch doon sa application ko kasi totoo naman na I want to explore New Zealand's beauty. Second, I want to spend time with Nika. Then, the third one is, of course, I want to travel. So, binigay na ng officer yung decision ang sabi niya sa akin, I am not qualified for a visitor's visa under partnership because we were not physically together for more than 12 months, which was a requirement. But we were able to prove that our relationship is genuine and stable because we had letters from family members and closest friends as well attesting that we were together since 2009. They attested how we met and how they see that we post each other's photos on Facebook and all that. And we had photos together as well that I submitted with my application. So, yun, so 24 hours later, so I got the decision na my visa was granted. So although my visa wasn't granted under partnership, I was given visitor's visa under general category. And also nine months siya, which was maximum months of stay ang nine months. And then I was not required to have a return ticket. So I was happy. And then, so that was 2012. And then I arrived here in July. And that was the peak of winter. <laughs> so, dumating ako dito malamig na malamig. I waited for about three, four months before I applied for work visa under partnership, which na grant naman after two weeks na bigay sa akin. So I remember it was about 2012 December na nakuha ko yung aking work visa. About early December, so I came here July 2012 with the visitor's visa, and then I uh, I acquired a work visa in December 2012. And then, December 2013, mag expire yung work visa ko kasi one year lang yung binigay sa akin. So, naisip ko nun, I might as well apply for either renewal ng work visa ko kasi December 2013, umuwi kami ng Philippines. So, we bought the ticket to the Philippines already. So, niisip ko, mag expire yung work visa ko while we are in the Philippines. So, possibly, hindi ako makakabalik. So, Nag-apply na ako ng residency. So, sabi ko, sige, try ko mag-apply ng residency. So, that was September 2013. A year and two months later since I arrived. And then, it took about two months. Yung resident visa under partnership noon, interesting kasi we were both interviewed but separately. So, ako yung unang in-interview. So, I was in a room with the officer and then tinatanong niya ako certain questions like, sino madalas mag-grocery? Sino madalas gumasto? Sino madalas magluto? Anong kulay ng, ng tablecloth nyo? <laughs> Anong ulam nyo kagabi? Even the past relationships ng isa't isa tinanong sa amin. So, ganun talaga ang interview for residency. So that was 2013, September. And then, 
dahil alam ko kasing matagal ang pag-process ng residence visa, ginuna ko na mag-apply ng September kasi nga uuwi kami ng December. So, December 2013, sabi ko kailangan may visa na ako. So, mabuti naman, mabait yung officer na nag-process ng visa ko. So, parang minadali na rin niya in a way para hindi na ako mag-apply ng work visa. Kasi kung wala pang decision yung residence visa ko, pwede akong mag-apply ng extension ng work visa ko. So, parang dalawang application na magkakasabay. So, uh, buti na lang ginawa niya para minadali niya yung pag-process ng residence visa ko. So, nakuha ko siya before kami umuwi ng Philippines. That was December 2013. So, in a span of one year and two months, or let's say the one year and four months, I became a New Zealand resident. And then, so after becoming a New Zealand resident, meron pang permanent residency. So, I think that was about two years later na magiging permanent residency ka kasi meron travel conditions sa visa. If mag-permanent residency ka, wala na yung condition na yun, which means that kahit nasa labas ka ng New Zealand, you are still considered a resident of New Zealand. So, yun yung difference. But I got my permanent residency after two years, so about 2015. And then, for you to become a citizen here sa New Zealand, you have to be physically here for about... I would say total of five years. It's because the number of days nila binibay. You have to meet the criteria that you have to be in New Zealand for the minimum number of days that they require. 2018, I was already eligible to apply for for citizenship, pero hindi ko siya minadali. We got married in August 2018, and then nagbook kami for US. So, meron kaming holiday for US ng 2018. Hindi ko muna inisakasa yung, yung citizenship ko because pag naging citizen ako, kailangan ko magpalit ng passport. And yung ticket na nabili namin for, for New Zealand, uh, for US rather, is nakabook na under my last name, Book. Wow. Nakabook na siya under Book. O, oh, diba? Um, so, hindi ko na siya pinalitan. Tsaka hindi rin man ako nagmamadali na magpalit ng citizenship that time. Hindi 18, yun, nagpunta kami ng ng US, sabi ko, pagbalik namin ng New Zealand, aasikasuhin ko na yung aking citizenship. But hindi pa rin natuloy kasi May 2019, nag-travel kami ni Nika kasama yung high school friends niya. So we went to um, Asian countries, including the Philippines as well. So sabi ko, okay, sige, pagbalik na lang namin, <laughs> apply ko yung citizenship ko. And then, pagdating ng... May, hindi ko pa rin siya na-asikas. But eventually, pinarsas ko siya November 2019. So, umuwi kami ng Philippines October 2018. Ah, 2019 rather. And then, pagbalik ko from Philippines, inasikaso ko na yung citizenship ko. Yung application ko ng citizenship. So, that was November when I had the interview and I lodged my application for the citizenship. December, I got a confirmation na my my application has been approved and then i received a letter in february for my oath taking invitation which which took place in march unfortunately in march nag start yung lockdown so hindi ako nakapag oath taking but sinabisinet na lang nila yung yung certificate ko na i'm officially a new zealander or a kiwi mm. i received ko yung yung citizenship ko na certificate I applied for a New Zealand passport. So, actually, naghintay pa ako eh, kasi natapos yung lockdown namin ng April. And then May, um, I got I got busy with a lot of stuff. So, naghintay pa ako until, until May para mag-lodge ng passport ko kasi hindi pa naman din open yung immigration. I mean, open na sila but they have skeletal staffing because of the situation we are so, in. Basically, yun yung process ng pag pagiging New Zealand citizen. But, to my friends and to the people out there who are interested in coming here to New Zealand, I always suggest that please do your research first kasi I know every year nag-change sa New Zealand sa mga requirements nila. And, I was told the easiest pathway is becoming a student, which in a way I would say is true. Because when student ka after after studying for a year, you will you will be given a visa. Um, I'm not sure what it's called now, but it used to be job search visa, wherein you will be allowed to look for a job 
na in relation sa course na tinapos mo. And I think it's about a year na bibigay sa yung visa. And then once you have the work visa or once you have the, the offer from the employer, yun, they will convert your visa to work visa. So yun yung alam ko. But again, I'm not a professional. I'm not licensed. I'm not legally allowed to give you advice. But yung experience ko. And so sa mga taong gustong lumipat dito sa New Zealand, all the best. I cannot find any fault here in New Zealand. I feel safe. And I this, since this is my home, I'm grateful to be here. Kasi, yun nga, dahil sa pandemic na experience natin ngayon, I understand why people are wanting to move to other countries such as ours. Because, again, a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of businesses closed because they cannot operate during the pandemic. I hope in a way you find this information, this video helpful. Mahirap mag-apply dito sa New Zealand. But of course, please do not be discouraged because meron naman talagang tamang process para makarating dito. Kasi I have two friends na successfully na-refer ko sa mga agents na nakarating na dito sa New Zealand and nandito na rin sila with their families. So I'm proud to say na kahit na mahirap siya, in a way magasto siya, it's totally worth it kasi maganda yung yung education system, maganda yung yung pangamalakad ng government. So I'm grateful. But sa aking mga friends and sa aking mga friends na nagtatanong kung paano lumipat dito, I would welcome you to move here, of course. I will encourage you to move here, but of course, I would suggest please do your research first kung paano and of course, you can always try to assess yourself dun sa New Zealand website kasi point system din yan eh. So you can assess. So you will just have to answer the questions and then at the end of that, you will get the points. And then dun yung malalaman kung ano yung kung ano yung pwede nyo maging status dito sa New Zealand. So yun, yun lang po yung gusto kong ishare today and I'm hoping na meron kayong na nakuhang information from me. I want to encourage other people as well na mag-move sa ibang bansa. So, hindi lang naman dito sa New Zealand, pwede, naman, pwede rin naman sa ibang bansa. Just hope na ngayon na we are under, we are under, we are experiencing this pandemic. We just stay safe and healthy sa ating mga bahay. And of course, make sure lang na sumunod din tayo sa patakaran ng government just to make sure na we protect ourselves as well from any virus out there. Yun lang po. Thank you. Bye!